Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna. If you're new here, I do makeup reviews, makeup tutorials, skincare, anything beauty related. I get you covered. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about a foundation that I've had my eye on for quite some time and I finally picked it up a couple of weeks ago um, when Sephora was doing like a sale or I think it was like their 20% off. If that sale is over, I use my coupon already. Today I'm going to be talking about the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint Broad Spectrum SPF 40 Sunscreen Foundation. comes in this pretty little mauve box. This is what the packaging actually looks like. I'm going to give you some information about it. But, so you know, I got shade ST 9.5. This was an extension. Um, from their original shades that they launched. This is like an in-between shade, which is awesome. These foundations are pretty sheer and very forgiving. So if you couldn't exactly like get your particular color, but you got one that was close to it, I think it would work for you. I went off of the description online um, with Sephora, and I think I did one of those things where you fill out the quiz to find out what the shade is. So that that was what I went with, and I know that, you know, sometimes when you're picking out shades online, it's a bit of like a shot in the dark because you don't know if it's going to work. You don't know. Some companies say cool, warm, neutral, and their like warms end up having pink in it. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna just gonna go for it. Um, all right. My information on this. First of all, this is probably one of the most expensive foundations that I purchased in the last few years. Um, it retails for forty-eight dollars. Again, I did get it on sale, and I think if I if it, if I couldn't get a sale on it, um, I probably would have just kept pushing it. Like I've been pushing it ever since it launched. Um, so it is expensive. Forty dollars for me, it's expensive. If you know me, I tend to buy foundations at the drugstore that range between like ten and twelve dollars, or maybe like twenty dollars, thirty dollars is usually like my max for foundation. But I heard really good things about this, and I was like, you know what? It's clean. Um, it's got great ingredients in it, so that's kind of what pushed me. And aside from the fact that I got it for twenty percent off. Alright, this, according to Sephora's website, I'm not sure about Ilya's website themselves, but they come in 30 shades, which is great. Different undertones, and again, um, shades that are very forgiving and can be used with different skin tones. It is a clean tinted serum, light dewy coverage. It does have an SPF of 40, which I did mention. And it's got niacinamide in it, it has squalene, a plant derived squalene and hyaluronic acid. Those are all great ingredients to have. And yeah, all right, so again, this is the packaging. Very, very cute. I love how it says between us. I don't know if it's because it was like the shade extension or in between shade. I don't know if they all say that, I could be wrong, but you're supposed to get it. You're supposed to shake it vigorously. That's what helps to kind of get the pigment and the oil like together. One of the things about this too is that when you apply it to your face, it does First, apply very light, and it says that it's an SPF guide so that you know that you're getting it like everywhere, and then it adjusts to the color it's supposed to be. Now, this is not the first time I use this product. I've used it actually a couple of times, and I really do like it. I think the coverage is beautiful. One thing that I will say, because I saw so many people apply this and just kind of like directly on their face, I had no idea whether they prepped their skin or not, and their skin was always so dewy and <laughs> I'm dry. So that was my first mistake. When I put it on my face and I went to go like apply it, I was like, ooh, this is not as like silky smoothing around my face like I saw everybody else's and it sat a little bit different. So if you are dry like I am, moisturize your face. That is what I did. So I just wanted to make that point. I moisturized today with my Joan Drood Miracle Cream. My skin is just very dry. It needs the extra love. So that's why I did that. So you can see like my face has like a bit of like a radiance just before I apply this because I used a good moisturizer. So back to shaking. You do get a dropper form. I saw people complaining about it, that it's like messy. I haven't experienced that it's messy. Like, I, I don't know if you guys remember when I reviewed the L'Oreal one, like that one was pretty messy and like thick. 
So I'm going to show you, I believe I have an up close swatch, but I'll show you one real quick here and then we'll cut into application. This is the shade that I got. So as you can see, see how when I'm starting to blend it out, it looks kind of light. But watch, in a few seconds, it's going to just adjust to my skin. So that's what it looks like. All right, let me cut into swatches for you so you guys can see up close, and then we'll come back to application. We're back. Uh, one thing I do want to point out that I also saw people talking about as far as reviews is that it had a scent to it. Now on their website it does say, like the Sephora website, it does say that it has a scent to it because it has raw ingredients. So there, I, there's no added fragrance, it's just a scent from the ingredients that are in here. I don't think it's terrible. To me it kind of has like a... Um, you know how like cinnamon has like a bit of like a spicy, not spicy hot, but like it's just like a cinnamon just has like that scent to it. It's something like that, but more subtle. At least that's how I'm interpreting the scent. Everybody's different. Um, a few months ago, I got sick with something that affected my smell. Just going to say that. So that could just be my interpretation of the scent of it, but it doesn't bother me. Like you put it on and you'll smell it for a little bit and then it goes away. I don't know what everybody else is smelling, but that's how I smell it. All right. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to pour some on my fingers like that and I'm going to blend and I'm just going to start prep pressing it to my face. So what I find with this is that it doesn't really, um, doesn't have full coverage but it can be layered to kind of like light medium coverage and if you notice in the beginning my face was a little more red here. I think it does a great job of toning down my redness. Now, if you saw my video where I did the holiday makeup and I was applying it, I was like, ooh, this is not moving around like I thought it was going to be. For some reason in my head, I thought it was going to be something like the MAC Face and Body, which even the MAC Face and Body, if you're familiar with that, when you start to kind of like move it around your face, it does get a little bit stiff. So this kind of actually does remind me of that one. It's not like a serum foundation, like if you've used flour where it just glides on the face, like... You do have to kind of work it in, but once you do, it looks really good. I find that this color, like the undertone, works really well with my skin tone. I even had asked my husband as like a backup. We were outside and we were getting coffee and I said, how's my face look? He said, oh, it looks good. Because he'll tell me like, hey, you know, why does this look darker? Or, you know, what's up with this? So I trust it. So, the other thing I do find with this is that it does leave a really pretty, like, radiant glow. But then it kind of, like, sets itself a little bit. I don't have a mirror by me, so I'm just going to use this one. So, I do love the color of this. I think the color actually works really nice with my skin tone. Let me get you guys in a little bit close. See how it's sitting on the face? That's kind of, like, what it'll stay and now I'm dry here. When I did not moisturize properly and I tried this on, it made my dry skin look really bad. It like, uh, what's the word? It like lacked, no, what's the word? I can't think of the word. It, it sat on the skin and it just looked really patchy. Like it stuck on stuff. I don't know. I didn't like that. So that's why this time I made it a point to moisturize really well. Um, application with the hands are not bad. Let me just use a brush real quick. It's gonna take my merit brush that the number one just to kind of buff it out I did um, I had to go outside one day and I had to wear a mask and I had this on and I didn't find that it moved very much with the mask I just had like the imprint of the mask on my face but I didn't find that it moved very much but it was cold that day so This is what it looks like. 
and like the kind of like the glow that it it leaves behind is uh, it's it's pretty much how it stays on all day so I'm gonna do a little wear test I just finished applying this it is 222 I don't know if you guys could see that right there shoot I can't see that 222 so I'll do a couple of check-ins throughout the day I am filming so when I come back I'm gonna have more makeup on my face um, but yeah this is our starting point uh, probably wear this till at least like nine o'clock so maybe like seven hours all right so I'll be back with a check-in all right so I'm in front of a window it's like three o'clock and the light the Sun just goes down so I'm just gonna try to get you guys close this is about an hour after my skin still looks radiant. I do have makeup on, but that's what it looks like. So I'll check in again. Hi guys, I'm doing another check-in. Um, it's like six o'clock, so it's been about three and a half hours. No, two and a half hours. Hold on, three, four. I'm sorry, it's been three and a half hours. This is what the foundation is sitting like on my skin. I feel like it has like a a radiant glow but it's it's not dewy or anything just like a nice natural radiance it's sitting a little bit funny here on like where I'm dry but not terrible all right <sighs> okay my final check-in um, it is 904 so close to seven hours and I need a mirror because I can't see anything. Um, you know what? Let me just get in close. All right. So from what I am seeing, I feel like my makeup still looks the same. The foundation looks the same. I had a mask on before um, for like 30 minutes. I don't find that it like disturbed anything. Um, my skin is dry here. But that's my doing because I've kind of neglected like exfoliating in my skincare just a bit um, so that's on me but I will say if I come in close it's still I can see that like you can see some some texture here the way it sits on those dry parts um, same thing with my nose but nothing nothing really major um, I don't find any foundations that actually sit on dry skin like perfectly unless they are like oil based let's say and this is not an oil based foundation um, as a matter of fact, first ingredient is water. So, it's not oil based. Sometimes oils kind of like, they just sit on the skin a little bit different. Um, but overall, it looks really good. I feel like it actually looks better than when I first applied it. Like, I don't know, it just kind of sits on the skin. And the longer I wear it, the more it kind of meshes into the skin. Um, one thing I will say that kind of surprised me was, and I mentioned this earlier, it doesn't look dewy on my skin like my skin doesn't look dewy like for example when I do the say beauty um, slip tint my skin will look nice and dewy like all day um, so for whatever reason on me this just ends up looking kind of like um like my skin but radiant versus dewy but I'm not mad at that I also feel like now that I'm looking at like my face and everything, like I said, I get like a light medium coverage, like just under medium coverage. I, I wouldn't say that it's a full medium because then it would have like concealed this a little bit better, but it does a really good job of toning down like redness and evening out my skin. So I do like that. Um, yeah, and it doesn't feel heavy on the skin at all. It kind of, in the beginning when you have it on, it does have like, it's not tacky, but you can tell like there's... There's a little bit of tackiness to it, nothing crazy, but it's kind of set on its own. This is not, like, I never set with powder, um, unless, like, a foundation is, like, super dewy and it looks like I need to set it, but I did not set this. This is kind of just the way it's been wearing on my skin all day. Um, yeah, and I think it looks nice. I still, the color hasn't, like, oxidized or anything. It still looks the same. It just looks more like, like my skin. So I think if my skincare routine was a little bit better recently this really wouldn't be an issue but aside from that I don't see any problems with it I think it's really nice I think it wore nicely all day the only thing that surprised me was that it's not as dewy as I thought it would be and like and I mentioned this before I know sometimes like on Instagram you see like the people putting it on and like 
they're like right in the sunlight so everything looks like dewy so it just doesn't sit like that on me but I am on the drier side so uh, yeah so those are my thoughts it's a good one definitely try it out if you were interested in it I know it's a little bit pricey wait for it to go on sale if anything or check out their website sometimes when you sign up to websites they'll give you like 10% off or 20% off worth checking out um, definitely if not try it out from Sephora if you don't like it you can always return it so if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them down below and yeah I'll see you guys in my next one bye